What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Davis Deadly and today's video I got an unboxing. It's a older product, but I finally got one. My local GameStop had a sales going out of business and it's going to be the scuff advantage too for the PS4. It is the wireless edition one. Um, highly customizable. Highly customizable controller. I always wanted one. I didn't want to pull the trigger because the price is so high, but finally picked one up pretty cheap so i'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then we will see if it actually improves i'm really excited to use this for call of duty uh having those toggles underneath to help with jumping ducking and melees and all that other stuff is gonna come real handy side shoulder buttons bumpers it's should be good so let's go check it out before getting into this unboxing guys be sure to like and subscribe and smash that bell icon to be notified every time i post a video it will be greatly appreciated um i am almost to that 100 subscriber mark i'm really trying to get a lot of subscribers and a lot of community feedback i get a lot of comments on my videos uh people ask me questions i respond all the time so be part of my community and come hang out and play some games with me uh let's get into this unboxing all right so i pre-cut the tape and uh let's get a little bit of look at the box a little bit more a nice box might try to paint the cover a little bit more customization Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. This really helps me out. It opens from the bottom. It's pretty cool. Don't know if I... Oh, that's... I keep in my boxes. Destroy it. Come on out, buddy. Well, this one might might need to be destroyed slightly. I don't want to come out. Alright, I'm gonna pull it off to the side. Man, it is in there, so destruction time. Here we go. Still snug as a bug. Fucking piece of shit. Come on. It is glued to it. That's probably why. Jesus. Alright, screw it. It's Christmas morning, here we go. Well, that's. Now that's destroyed. There we go. Still a cool box. What's this? Where you start? For more updates, all that other junk. There we go. Oh, okay. That came right off. Oh, it's got a bunch of tags saying what can be removed, what can't be removed, I guess, or just what can be removed. Get that out of the way. Start by clearing all this crap off. Really packages up good. Like, whoa, the controller knob dead. 
it's right back into place. It's not exactly black, it's like a gray. Pretty cool. Oh, you can set it. You can set it between USB and Bluetooth. That's me. I don't know what that does. Read the instructions. Ah, oh, feels great. This stuff on the uh, on the touchpad. Vantage two. I wonder if that lights up. I thought it would be heavier. So we got in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Customize your experience. Wow. I think you learn to perform. Um, nice carrying case. Not that I would take it anywhere ever. What is this? Uh, I don't know what that is. What would you put in that? Huh. I guess parts, maybe? Ooh. Fancy. That's all that's in the box. That part of the box is pretty pretty nice box. We got carrying case, this other carrying case, controller. Charge cable. I'm assuming it's a link cable too. It probably helps with input latency and stuff like that going through USB. There you go. Let's see what's in customize your experience. It's empty. Easier. There we go. Paddles, touch pad. You got a bunch of stuff in here. This is the pin. Change stuff. You can change from concaved or um let's say opposite of concave. You tell me. Change the paddles. Change the D-pad thing to this thing. I might try that. Never tried anything like that. book go through that at the desk stickers and warranty information all right so from a packaging standpoint pretty cool Alright, continuing on with installation of our Scuff Vantage 2. So 
let me go turn that light on so you guys can see. We got our instruction manual. Pairing your controller with your PS4. This operation is performed only once when you are using Scuff Vantage controller for the first time. Turn your PS4 on, blah blah blah, you know that. Slide the wireless slash wired switch on your scuff bottom right. To the right. Sorry, not it is it is the left. The left for you guys? Yeah. Left. Slide in the switch to the right. There's a little Bluetooth logo. I don't know if you guys can see that Bluetooth logo on there. Using another control already connected to your PS4. Select settings, devices, Bluetooth from right. settings, devices, Where is it? Bluetooth devices. A lot of shit in here. All right. Um, press the PS button on the scuff vantage to activate. thing dead. I didn't charge it. Oh, no, I went on. Up here. Okay. Press and hold the share button and the PS button simultaneously on your scuff vantage until the light bar flashes. There it goes. It's flashing. Place the controller close to the PS4 system. Finds a way at the end of the table. Wait for scuff controller to appear on the device list. Using the stuff, the connected scuff controller. Oh, there it is. All right. Press A on that. No. Press A on the other controller. Or not A. What am I saying? Press X on the other controller. You want to register a Bluetooth device named Scuffed. Yes. Yes. It is I. It is dying. There we go. And that. Whoa. Wow. One of these little buttons down here. All right, so I got my scuffed on. This one went off. The remapping switch on the rear of the controller takes the game flexibility to the next level, allowing your controller you to configure the paddle control system P1, P2, P4, P3 and sax buttons. These are the sax buttons over here. Guys up here. And all these down here are the, uh, so we got sax, sax. And we got these buttons down here. Alright, so mapping mode to the right. Hold on. They just go into a game real quick. Actually, here, where's options? Options. Button layout. Oh, see all. There you go. Jump mantles X. I want. What are, um, I want one of these down here. I feel like this one. This one should be jump. This one should be jump. So, press and hold the paddle or button. Three minutes, 17 minutes, and press the controller function. There you go. So that's X. And then. Melee's R3. I think I want this button for R3. I won't know until I'm in there. Now let's go try it out. We got everything else default on the controller. Oh, there we go. So I could. Mute, unmute, using 
that guy down there. God, the MPS4 is like a Harrier jet right now. Kill confirmed. Weapons hot. No there you go. I can use my little middle finger mantle. Getting shot already. I'm hit. Make one of those reload. Yeah, I should make one of the other ones reload. Then my thumbs never have to leave the sticks. It feels great. It feels like a normal PS4 controller so far. I'm a very big stickler on... The grippers at the bottom feel great. I am a believer in scuff so far. Good shit so far. Six feel a little different, but all in all, not bad. God damn it. Thanks for that. Kill confirmed. So there we go guys, scuff, scuff advantage 2. Yeah, so far, I really like this thing. He's lift right out, apparently, am I breaking it? Oh, you gotta push it forward a little bit. And then it lifts out, yep, there you go. I can get it back in. Three. Two hours later. Light flat. No. Push all kinds of buttons. There you go. I think I got it. I, I don't believe that was the right way to do it. These come off too. There's bigger ones. I'm gonna try to do the D-pad. So this has a little, right here, a little, so there's a little groove right here, both sides, lift that up, and this comes off, then we can switch out this stuff here, uh, let me get this uh, out of the package, so now the D-pad, Looks off. Super easy. Now there's a bigger end on the one side. I'm assuming it just goes like that. Let's open you. We'll do it piece by piece. Alternate controller knobs. Concaves are default, which that's the ones I like. It just slides right back on. You just make sure you slide it on the right direction. Put that in. That's kind of big. We have more thumb paddles. Longer thumb paddles, which I don't think I'm going to like, so I'm not even going to try to put those on. I'm going to put... And they, they have a rubber grip. Maybe I'll try them later, but I'm not going to do them now. I don't think I'm going to like them. Those in the tube, one side of the tube. Throw my D-pad in the tube. And these doodads make the controller slide around. The stick slide really easy. They really make it slide nice and smooth. There, I think there's already some on there. Yeah, there's, there's already some on there. And you can buy new ones on uh, scuff.com. I believe it's scuff.com. 
Duff's website and uh, get new ones, different colored ones. We really trick your shit out. And then this is the the key to it turns for the triggers under the triggers. There's a thing, and you can set where the pressure is. So you can make it really a hair trigger. So just lightly touching it will make it go off. And then it has another function too. Oh, there's a reset button underneath it to totally reset it. That's what this key does. Put that in the tube. And then we just got my other side of this. The uh, rounded top. See all my little parts fit in this scuff tube. Turn off. Fit in this nice little scuff tube. Comes with this handy dandy carrying case. Toss that in. Alright. So then I gotta put this back on to get the this weird keypad on. I wonder if I needed to take this one off. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So this makes it into like a disc. I might have to do a video on Mortal Kombat with this. Ooh. Awesome. Really digging that. And then uh, other things where it says Advantage 2 down here. If you have a headset plugged into it, swiping one way will turn it up, swiping the other way will turn it down. Holding your finger on it will mute it. So that's a pretty cool feature too, but I don't do that because I have my uh, Astro A40s. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, down here feels great. Six feel Everything feels good. I like it a lot. I like it. Uh, I... You guys watch me stream. I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Davis Deadly. Uh, stop by a stream sometime and ask me how I'm, how I'm digging the controller. I'm going to charge this bad boy up. I'm going to go play some other PC games right now. Oh, Very cool controller. That is 200 bucks right now. My GameStop's going out of business, so I bought it. I got it like 30% off, so it's like. 160 something. I don't know how to do math that great. So, very solid, very cool controller. Awesome. Two thumbs up. Highly recommend a buy if you are looking for a competitive edge in your shooters or any other games. Like I said Mortal Kombat might be cool with this e pad. I'll, I'll make a video on that too. And I'll put it like under a scuff playlist. All right, guys, be sure to like and subscribe and smash that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video on my channel. Uh, unboxings, game videos, trophy help, achievement help, you name it, under the video game sun, it's on my channel. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash davisdeadly, on Twitter at deadly underscore davis for Twitter. I forget what my Instagram is, I hardly use it. But Scuff Gaming, I'm pretty sure there's a million of these videos out there. Because uh, it wasn't like I pre-ordered this shit or anything. I just happened to get a sale and I want to make a video. Until next time, my name is Davis Deadly. Peace.